Hey guys, as you know, I'm still like experimenting on different recipes, but this weekend I tried a recipe with um, some tilapia and um, I did a marinade with some um, chicken broth and I'm going to show you guys just how I did it and I'm going to let it marinate overnight and then I'll finish cooking it tomorrow. So I'm starting this video today and um, I'm going to put the rest of it up tomorrow when I um, actually finish it. But I'm going to be showing you guys, um, you know, photos of everything that I had. But um, this is what it looked like right now um, so far. And I'm getting ready to um, switch cameras. I'm back and forth with cameras. But um, this is what it looks like so far with everything I'm putting together. So I'm getting ready to make uh, my marinade and let it sit um, overnight. So I have my garlic, my green peppers, red peppers, onions, um, my chicken broth, and my fish already seasoned um, lightly. So I'm gonna go through the steps to do the marinade and then um, you guys will see how it turns out, okay? Okay, guys, now I'm starting this marinade. You see I have my fish here that's already seasoned. And um, what I did was took my fish and then you just want to put it in your bowl and then I would spread my um I had two cups two cups of the chicken broth and I pour this over just a little bit in there you want to measure off your onions and this right here is about a cup a half a cup, I'm sorry. This is a half a cup of onions. Take that and you put that in there. Now, what's this part? It's a half a cup of onions. And these are my green peppers right here. It's like, it's supposed to be like about a cup, or either you can use a half a cup or whatever, but I'm going to go ahead on and use this cup. Cup of green peppers in there with the onions. Now the red peppers, you want to use a half a cup of the red peppers. This is a cup, but I'm not using the whole thing. Use a half a cup of red peppers. There's other fish in here. Then I want to take the rest of my chicken broth the and pour over in here. Then you want to take your minced garlic. This is what's going to do it for you. The minced garlic is going to be your number one thing that's going to do it for you. Now, you can take a fourth of a cup, which is, that's what I used on um, on um, yesterday, or whatever, or either, you know, you can take a third of a cup. It does not matter. But I am going to be using a fourth of a cup. You just want all of it to get in there really good with the seasoning of all this garlic. And guys, you're not going to believe how good this tastes, this taste, rather. Take this can, cut it in half, cut it out. Getting all right. where did I put it? Use my fourth of a cup cut all of, pieces out. of garlic. Flat with a hammer. Here's gonna be the top piece, the bottom piece, and this piece is gonna roll out. Guys, it is so good. All the seasonings and stuff in there together. It's good. Not even that, even when I did that, I even poured some of the juice. Now I need another area. In there. Well, the area this is I wanted some of the juice. But anyway. Now I'm going to put the garlic all in there. All around in there. You guys can see me stirring this all in there. All the garlic. And I love garlic now since um, I've changed the way of my eating. I just love the garlic. So you're going to get all of this all in here together with your fish. And you're going to let it just sit. So you got your seasoned fish, your green peppers, your red peppers, your onion, and your garlic, and your chicken broth all in here really good. And if guys, if you want to add more garlic or the garlic juice, um, it's good. Even it smells good. 
it smells wonderful. So I'm gonna give me a little bit more juice in there. So make sure you guys get all that in there good together and you just let it sit overnight. You let it sit overnight. Not only that, you guys can um, shake it if you like, cover it, and put it in the refrigerator. But you want to make sure that you shake it. You can get it in there really good. And you want to let all of your ingredients soak overnight. And then I will actually be cooking the fish in all of this um, on tomorrow. So this is gonna marinate overnight. I'm gonna go ahead on and cover this up. So there you guys see it. I'm gonna let this marinate overnight and then I'm gonna cook it uh, tomorrow and I'll let you guys see just how this um, this turns out it is lovely I love it it tastes so good I was experimenting on it and um, experimenting on it and hey I came up with an outstanding dish so um, let me move this camera a little bit so now you guys can see me I came up with an outstanding dish after um, experimenting with this and I just wanted to share it with you guys and um, this is um, called garlic fish this is you know my garlic fish with green peppers and, and onions so you guys will see how it turns out all right talk to you guys later bye Just taking the fish out of the oven and um, it's ready. So I'm going to be um, fixing the plate and preparing everything, putting it all together. Okay, I'm checking in on the stir fry. Looks pretty good. Okay, so what do you think about the um, garlic fish and stir fry? It's real good. I like it. It's got a great taste to it. Good job.